from you. And Zebra fans, where is your first win realistically going to come from? Defence from the Ospreys. Davis, the latest to make the tackle. But on Zebra come and the pass out wide. They're going to get in. But they're almost there again. It's taken on. And the ball still not over the line. On Zebra go. They're going to get another one. Line. It's turned over. And Zebra, hold on. Well, that went well, didn't it? Welcome back to Pro 14 and Weekly. This is a show where we look ahead to the weekend's action in the Pro 14. And given our predictions, let's hope it's a little bit better than last week's. And that's for sure. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Facebook. Hit that follow button and like our page to keep up to date with everything to do with rugby. There is, of course, only one place to start. That is out in Italy with a game between Munster and Benetton has been called off due to three positive confirmed cases of COVID in the Benetton team. And of course, then if we look towards the Dragons, the Dragons in a little bit more of a tricky patch, you'd have to say. Their game against Connacht has been postponed as well as the Glasgow Warriors game next week with seven positive COVID cases. And the region is shutting down for two weeks. So no training, no nothing going on down at Rodney Parade anymore. So we hope that everyone will stay safe there and we'll see rugby return to the region once again. So no games on the Saturday. It is only games on the Sunday. And again, Monday night rugby is happening once again. Let's start then with this Sunday kickoff at three o'clock down in the Liberty. It's Ospreys taking on Leinster. I did do a very big in-depth chat with Je uh, Jeff from Harping on Rugby. I'll link that down there in the description down below. For any Ospreys fans, check it out. It's a half an hour chat solely about the Ospreys, how it's been going this season and how we're progressing and what is the aim for this season. So link down there, check it out. The Ospreys come into this one in a little bit of mixed form. Two out of four wins this season. But last weekend was a disappointing one, wasn't it? Losing to Zebra, 23 points to 17. At half time, we were 17 nil down. We did manage to claw it back, but it is frustrating to lose against such a side, especially considering that we got such a good result against Glasgow Warriors, where, again, we were down, but we came back and managed to win that one. Leinster, on the other hand, come into this one, of course, and beaten. Four wins out of four. Absolutely smashed Zebra a couple of weeks ago, then beat Glasgow last week. They've been on absolute fire this season, and they are certainly the team to beat. My predictions for this one, well, none of the Welsh players have really been released back to the Ospreys, which is going to be a big issue for us. I'd like to see in the likes of George North maybe being released because he's not been picked at all recently. I can only see Leinster winning this. I'm going to back Leinster to win this by two to three scores. It'll be quite a comfortable afternoon for them. And as an Ospreys fan, it is frustrating. But I think there's some encouraging signs from this season so far. Ospreys fans, Leinster fans, let me know your thoughts down below. And be sure to check out that full interview about Ospreys with Harping on Rugby. Link down below. Let's go on to the next game on the Sunday. The next game on the Sunday then is Scarlet to host Zebra down at Pagascal. Let's kick off at quarter past five for this one. Scarlet's come into this with only one win all season, beating Benetton at home. And last week, what an awful game it was as Edinburgh won that one six points to three. Zebra come into this one in the same form, really, as the Scarlet's having only won one. Of course, we alluded to it with their victory against the Ospreys. The big issue for Scarlets this season, of course, has been their ill discipline. It's just simply not been good enough. And it's something that needs to be addressed at the region, that the discipline, as I said, is not good enough. And they're really struggling with it. Two yellow cards last week, a red card as well. You're not going to win games if you're playing like that and if you're playing dangerously like that. How am I going to see this one going? Well, I think Scarlets will win. I think their discipline is key. And if they can keep their discipline and they can just simply go through the motions, they should win this. Although Zebra will be very encouraged by their performance last week, as I famously said, Zebra won't get a win this season. But I don't think they'll get another win here. I think Scarlet's will have a little bit too much here. And I could see them getting a bonus point, to be honest. The only issue facing Scarlet's at the minute is the amount of players who are currently with the national side. And Zebra don't tend to lose as much as Benetton do. But I still think that Scarlet's will have enough to get a clear victory here and win this one pretty comfortably. So Scarlets to win, but Scarlets and Zebra fans, your predictions in the comments down below. So there are two games on the Monday nights. First of all, we have Edinburgh hosting Cardiff Blues. A late kickoff this one 
up at Murray Field. It's quarter past eight kickoff for this one. Edinburgh finally got their first win of the season, as we alluded to just earlier, against the Scarlets. And they've been in games and they've managed to score tries in lots of games. But last week, it was the penalties that won them at the game. Cardiff Blues, a mixed bag once again for them. They'll be frustrated. They've shown really good stuff and had some good victories here and there. And then just not really backed it up in the next game. It's, it seems to be the flow of the league, really. Only two teams who have really stood out so far, Leinster and Ulster. Everyone else kind of mixing in and, uh, and losing silly games here and there. Once again, though, the big issue for both teams is going to be the international break, isn't it? Who's going to be released to the regions? I think the Cardiff Blues are in a better position with the players they still have available. You have to look at that back line of the likes of of uh, you still got Halaholo, you still got Ray Lilo, you still got Jared Evans, you still got a very good squad. Matthew Morgan is a good attacking threat. In the front row, you still got some big ball carriers for Cardiff Blues. For Edinburgh, I think they lose a lot more players. I think they struggle with that a lot more. And I also just think that the leaders that would be on the pitch for them, who would be able to drag them through games and help them just get back into games, are simply not there because they're away with the national team. And I think that's really going to hurt them this week. Cardiff Blues in a little bit more form, have shown a little bit more quality with ball in hand. I'm going to back Cardiff Blues here. I think it's going to be close though. And I do think that if Edinburgh are still in it late on, I think they'll be able to grind out a result here. But I just think that Cardiff Blues can have that a little bit too much. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be one score in it. Let me know in the comments down below your predictions for this one. And then the final game of these fixtures is Ulster, who hosts Glasgow Warriors. And Ulster, along with Leinster, the two unbeaten sides still in this competition. And they really look like the only team who realistically can challenge this Ulster side. It's going to be a very, very tough day at the office for Glasgow Warriors, I believe. The big plus for also, of course, will be John Coon, who's not been called up to the national team, which absolutely baffles me. He's been the form player in the league and yet not been called up to the Irish squad. But he's not in the squad for this Autumn Cup coming up. So he is going to be starting this one. And as I said, he's been absolutely flying recently. Glasgow Warriors have had a pretty disappointing season so far, only winning one out of their four games. And for such a strong team, we're expecting them to be doing a lot more. Their first win really came over a month ago, so they're not informed, they've not got any momentum. And going into this one, I think it's going to be a little bit tough for them. I think if Ulster can start well and get some early tries, it's going to make it extremely difficult for uh, Glasgow. Again, with the inexperience that they won't have on the pitch. And, of course, in the long run, looking forward now, Hastings is out for four months with an injury, which is not only going to impact Glasgow, it's going to impact Scotland as well. It's a long-term injury, that one, for them to deal with. So I'm going to back Ulster to win here, get a bonus point, especially being at home. It's going to have a massive impact on this game. I'm going to back Ulster to win this one. So there we go. Those are my predictions for the Pro 14 for this weekend. If you have enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and leave a like and a follow on our Facebook pages. As well, I'm due November this year. I'm just about starting to see something after a week or so. But I'm due November this year to raise uh, some much needed funds for fantastic organisations that help men uh, with various illnesses, including mental health, which is something that's very, very close to my heart. If you'd like to support financially, that's incredible and much appreciated. There'll be a link down below for you to click on that and check it out. Anything makes a difference. I've set a target of £100. We're already at £45. People have been so generous. If you can't support financially, that's fine. All I ask is that you share it onto forums, onto rugby chat groups, share it on. Uh, and encourage people to support if they can. But there we go. I will see you on Tuesday evening for my roundup of the Pro 14. I'll see you then.